Well, good evening and welcome back to Sheepdog Preparedness. I'm Kenny. Wanted to uh, go ahead and dive in on the, uh, some of the meat of the matter with the preparedness stuff. Now that you've had a chance to uh, get the introduction and, and kind of see where I come from and, and what I'm trying to accomplish on the channel. Everybody is, uh, seems a little bit disturbed, a little anxious with what's going on with North Korea, and I can understand that. Nothing to be scared about. Do your preparedness stuff, be ready, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Basically, I wanted to do this video as a kind of a uh, where do I start sort of thing. Uh, this is mainly for the people who haven't done anything yet at all. You don't even have so much as a gallon of water stashed back or a case of canned goods. So, where do you start? First of all, mentality is the main place to start. Get your head right. Think about these things in the right light. Uh, always make sure that when something happens, because it will, that you don't panic. You keep your head about yourself. Your family counts on you. You're not going to do anybody any good if you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off when this stuff finally starts to happen. So get that prepper mentality in your head, that survival mentality of never give up. I would start first and foremost in the beginning with concentrating on food and water, the two things that you know you're going to have to have. And you can only survive three days without water and three weeks without food. So think about at least in the beginning I would suggest getting maybe 30 days worth of food and water. And you don't have to do it all at once, it can, you know, it can get expensive. Uh, think about doing it a little bit at a time. Every time you go to the grocery store, just throw a few extra canned goods in the cart. It's, it's cheap. Uh, get a bag of dried beans, pinto beans, get a bag of white rice. You know, those things are maybe a dollar each. Throw those in the cart. And that stuff will start to add up. If you do that every week when you go to the grocery store, that stuff starts to build up. And next thing you know, you've got a little bit of a supply going. Think about the things that you already like to eat, the things that the kids like to eat, and just buy an extra one. Start doing that. But I will admit to you, at this stage of the game, if you're just now starting, I think you're kind of behind the curve a little bit. I do still feel like we're very close to some things happening where these things are going to be needed. So if you're going to get on this, you need to get on it yesterday. And that's just how I feel in my heart. That's that's where I think the Holy Spirit has been leading me for years now. And, and I have felt for a very long time we're close to something. So get started on that food as soon as you can. Start adding to the pantry, non-perishable stuff, canned goods, beans, rice, things like that. You know, you may not eat like a king, but you're at least going to eat if you got beans and rice. Bottled water. Make sure you rotate the stock. If you buy uh, just the bottle, gallon bottles of water like at Walmart or whatever that are, you know, 94 cents, uh, grab a couple of those a week and start stockpiling those up. Just make sure you rotate those out. Water definitely can go bad. If you buy the purified stuff, that definitely helps out. Longer shelf life. And that stuff's pretty cheap. Think about a local water source where if you run out of the bottled water, where are you going to get water next? Do you have a creek nearby? Do you have a pond, uh, a stream? Think about a water catchment system, something that can come off of your guttering to catch some water in a bucket. And then ha you have to have a way of purifying that before you're going to consume it. So if you boil it, you know, that's great. You'll get rid of most of the germs and everything. We'll talk more about water purification and things in a separate video. but. At least get something in your head and start planning about some sort of catchment system or some place where you're going to be able to get a hold of more water should you need to. Uh, here on the farm we've got a natural spring, we've got a deep well, we've got the pond, we've got a creek running through here, so I've got numerous sources. I don't concern myself too much about the water situation because of those things. Filters, we'll talk about that at another time too. Got some great ideas on filters on how you can go about that. So food and water, right off the bat. The other main thing, medical. Get some basic first aid supplies going. If you don't have a very good stockpile of that yet, that's something you're going to need. When this finally hits and, and you can't go to the store and you can't get to the supplies you're going to need, retail, you've got to have it. 
plenty of band-aids, a few tubes of neosporin, gauze, tape. Uh, feminine hygiene products are, are a perfect tool for that. You're going to need those anyway if there are females in the house, so stock up on those. They're great for, you know, stopping bleeding on, on a major wound or something like that. It's a cheap, awesome way for some more bandage, so grab plenty of those. Hygiene is another thing. Toilet paper. Your oral and dental health is going to be highly important when the S hits the fan and you can't go to the dentist. So grab toothpaste, grab soap, grab razors and things like that now. Stock, stock up on those things. Get them ready. Buy extra. And something I should have mentioned a little bit deeper on the medicine thing too, think about chronic illnesses. I have an immediate family member who's an insulin-dependent diabetic. So we have stockpiled six months of her diabetes supplies. So if and when things finally hit, I'm not going to have to worry about that. That's a, that's a life or death thing for her. She has to have that stuff. So we've loaded up on it. She's fine for six months, and I keep getting the new stuff. So there's always a backlog of six months of those supplies. Hit those main things to start. Get started on those as soon as you can. I think it's highly important. Uh, I don't think I've said it on this channel yet, but family and friends have heard me say that I feel strongly we're going to be living in a different country by the end of the year. Whether it's going to be this North Korea situation, whether it's going to be the impending economic collapse that's years overdue, or something else, you're going to be needing some of these things, and you're going to be needing them soon. So try not to waste too much more time before you get started on this. Get some non-perishable food going. Get some more water built up. Get the medicine and first aid supplies that you need. Get those things going first. We'll talk about bug out bags in a future video. We're going to break down a, several different videos on food and talk about some of the best foods to stockpile, some of the foods to stay away from. We're going to talk about canning, uh, dehydrating. We'll talk about uh, what to do with uh, things like deer meat and fish and things along those lines wild game. We'll get into a really good in-depth video on water and purifying and filtration on water. Lots of medical info coming up to, uh, soon too. Watch for a video on that. I'll go over our uh, medical bag that we have and some of the medical supplies to give you some better ideas to get a more in-depth medical kit going. But for now, start changing your mentality first. Get your head screwed on straight. Think about these things. Don't panic about any of this. You can do this. Don't count on anyone else. Do this for yourself and your family, and you'll be ready. And as always, I'll leave you with that question. Are you ready?